we're going to start with some head circles. So sitting comfortably, sit back on your chair so that you're nice and upright, place your hands in your lap. Just let the head roll forward. And do some gentle rocking motions from side to side initially. Not too far. For a gentle stretch at the back of your neck. And now we're going to do full circles. So head forward, rolling to the right. Only go to the limit that's good for you. We're going to do five that way and then five back the other way. You feel your neck cracking or just make the circles really small. Okay, we've done five on each side. Now we're going to do some shoulder shrugs. So we're just going to bring the shoulders up and down. Up and down. Loosening them up. Set. And now we're going to place the hands on our lap. We're going to do seated cat cow. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my chair sideways so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. So we're going to round the back and then bring the head up so that you're arching the back into cat and then up into cow. Don't forget to breathe. And that feels really good. Okay, we're going to do a torso stretch now. So I'm going to come back to the front. You don't have to do this, obviously. This is just to help you. <laughs> we're going to stretch up the hands above and really stretch out that torso. So sit back on your chair, stretch up. Also, if you struggle to get your hands together, get them as close as you can. Bring those arms up alongside your ears as much as you can. Don't forget to keep breathing. And then lower them down. Just give those shoulders a little roll in between. And now we're going to do the chest opener. We come forward, we're going to clasp the hands behind. Bring that chest forward, hands behind us. Really opening up that chest. release. Sit back on your chair, give yourself a hug, head forward, eyes closed. Lift the head, make a note of which hand's on top, open the arms wide and place the other arm on top. Same again, head forward, eyes closed. and release. We're now going to do a spinal twist. We're going to take that right hand behind us, look over our right shoulder, you can hold the chair, make sure that you don't hold your breath though. Look over that right shoulder. And coming back to the front. And we'll do the other side. over the left shoulder. And coming back to the front. Now we're going to stretch up the arms, inhale, bring out the feet and stretch forward. 
into a forward fold. And slowly coming back up. Bring those hands down. And we're going to do a hip opener. So we're going to bend that, lift that left knee, place that left foot on top of your right knee. Just bring it as close as you can towards you. You can feel that hip opening up. Sit up nice and tall. And release. And the other side. Bring that right knee up. Place that right foot on top of the left knee. And again, you can apply gentle pressure Again, just do what works for you. Never force anything. And release. Okay, we're gonna do a side bend now. So inhale the hands up, clasp them above the head. So lift your back away from the back of the chair. And reach over to your right. So you get a nice side stretch. Obviously don't go too far. Don't hold your breath. Inhale back up. Exhale down the other side. Inhale back up. Bring those arms down. I'm gonna stand. We're going to use the chair, the back of the chair, for a half forward bend. So walk those feet out. Just keep walking them out until your back is as straight as you can get it. Relax the head between the arms. Straighten that back. So really drawing those buttocks away. Feel the stretch down the back of your legs. Just support yourself with the chair. And then slowly... Walking back, I'm going to move the chair. We're just going to come into finish with ragdoll. So, we're going to inhale up, exhale the arms forward, grabbing the elbows, bend the knees, and just relax forward as low as is comfortable for you. Just hang there for a minute and then slowly straighten the legs. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down. And here end this the chair yoga class. So I hope you enjoyed that. You've had a nice little stretch without too much strain. If you find it hard, it's, it means that you're able to do these things without getting onto the floor. And obviously if there's anything that I have missed out that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, click the subscribe button and check out my other videos. See you next time. Bye.